How are you? It's nice to see you guys. It's such a blessing for me to be able to come out here and do this. It's just so much fun. I appreciate Food for the Poor making it all possible. It is a tremendous uh, humanitarian need. One thing I've seen is a lot of children in need, and this is their future. If you can help them now, you can help the future for everybody. It's like regardless of what their financial standings are, they're, they're happy, they love each other, they have, they have Christ in their life. Chuck Stone has been a, a blessing to this country here. Chuck, Eileen, and the Stoner family over the last six years have truly transformed families all over the country of Guyana. It's amazing to see what families are experiencing today because of their generosity that will last for generations. So this is the old house that you used to live in, right? So we moved you out of there and we, we built this house over here. Is this house better for you than the other one? Yes. We're changing communities. That speaks to who they are and what they're doing here. Where he goes, he always makes a connection, and where he makes that connection, he sees how he can help. The reason Eileen and I are here to do, to do this work is because we just want to help as many people as we can. It would be nice to spread the Lord's Word out here in the middle of, the, in the middle of nowhere. If we can come out here and, and help them out by building homes or feeding them or helping them get to school or bring medical attention out here, anything's appreciated. Welcome everyone to Kairuni. It's a very close-knit community, predominantly Amerindian. You do have some afro guyanese and some hindu guyanese and some mixture as well. Everyone is excited to see you guys. The parents, some parents have come out because they wanted to, you know, express their gratitude. So this is what was here before, is yes, that this right? This is the old school building that we're seeing here. It's a wooden structure. We had leakage of the roof. We had the foundation was actually sinking. It was overcrowded, could not have accommodated all of the students, and it was hot also during the dry period, and it was just not conducive for learning for the students here. Extra students who were eligible to go to nursery school had to travel to the other community to actually go to school, and they had to walk every morning and then walk back home every midday. Here is the new school building that was built by the Stoner family. It's a concrete structure. There are now four classrooms. I suppose you only had two classrooms over the other building. It is just a better place for learning for the children. Where's the headmaster? Is there a headmaster here? I want to give her a big hug. How are you? <laughs> How many children go to school here now? At present, we have 23 learners. Okay. Yes, and four teachers. I'm From sure it's time. as organized as it was last time. I, I've never seen a school so organized as the last one that I was <laughs> thank in. You, thank you. <laughs> Can we come in and see the yeah, inside? Sure. Absolutely, we'd love to. Yes. So, do you have different grades? Yes. Three, three different classrooms. Okay. The pencils are my favorite part. This is so beautiful. You've done such a great job here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, really, really, it's, uh, it's. I'm so glad we were able to help you guys a little bit. Yes, and we are grateful. I know you are. I know, I know you are. We, <laughs> Thank you. We brought a few things for the children. Could we give them some things? Yes, sure. Okay. We have a program as well. For you have a program? Yes, right. Really? Yes, we do. I'm in the mood for clapping, clapping along with you. She did exactly what we hoped she would do, and that is put an incredible program together for the children. She's got more room now, and we've been able to build her a little house so she's got a place to stay. And the children and the, and the program was just incredible. We are about to travel on the Essequibo River to get over to East Coast Essequibo and we're going to be going to several villages that were funded by Chuck Stonar. Um, it's going to be an adventure, it's going to be a cross water, we're in what we call a speedboat in Guyana 
and it's a wonderful ride. It is an incredible opportunity to see um, a, a part of Guyana that a lot of people don't get to see, but the, the greatest part is to be able to meet the families. The adventure ahead of us is, is really wonderful, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity of seeing Chuck back in these communities and uh, reconnecting with the people. And what's your name? My name is Miss um, Edmonds, Miss Edmonds. Miss Edmonds, my name's uh, Chuck Stoner, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Yes. Miss Edmonds is the headmistress now. Yes. Okay. She took over from Miss Eve, you would have met Miss Eve years ago. Thank you for having us here today. You're welcome. Nice to meet you, can we look around? Yes. Yes, the children are here. <laughs> yeah, yes. We're at home, so we're going to have to share their meals. Ah, uh, okay. We're at the mission for Karawab. What we're doing here is we're just spending t some time with the um, at the primary school, the intervention of Food for the Poor and the in intervention of Chuck's help and the Stoner family's help has helped to uplift the community. They have a school here on a feeding program. They're going to have a good education. What a blessing for these kids. They have a tremendous future ahead of them. <laughs> hey, it's nice to see you guys. Take care. Have a great day. We are headed to Mashabo, a village that was built several years ago by the Stoner family, to check in and see how life is after several years and um, visit with families, children, and see the progress that's been made. This is my favorite place in Guyana. It's right here in Mashabo. And, but every year I come back to dedicate a new village, we, we come visit here. It's like homecoming when you come here, it's great. And the children are awesome, the teachers are awesome, the parents, it's just, it's a blessing to be here. Which house is yours? This is my house. Oh, cool. Yes, this okay. is my house. Okay, good, good, good. Are well, you enjoying it since we yes, built it? Yes, I'm enjoying it. I'm so grateful. Oh, yeah, I'm well. so thankful, you know. Well, it's such a blessing. Well, you know what? Be blessed more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice of you. Yes. You know what? This is my favorite spot. It's com is coming back to Mashabo. It's such a beautiful spot. Oh, thank you. I think it's, the, pretty, I think it's the prettiest village that, uh, that Food for the Poor has done. It's really amazing to see the whole village. It's, it's huge. I mean, it really changes people's lives here. Today we are dedicating the Solus Christus uh, community development. This community in Guyana has accommodation for 50 families. Um, we have just started, we have completed 43 homes with another seven to go. There's a community center and there's also um, an agricultural component that makes them sustainable. I want to tell you what a blessing it is uh, for my wife and I to be able to come help you. We named the uh, vil village uh, Solus Christus and of course that means only through Christ. You know I believe that God sent us here and gave us this life but it's up to us to decide what we're going to do with those lives. I want to meet you, I want to know all about you, and I want you to know you're loved by my wife and I, and you're loved by God. Okay. Well, I pray that uh, the house is a blessing to you and that the Holy Spirit will watch over you guys and you'll have good health and that the boys will grow up to be big and strong. These people used to live under the stars. Now they have a home, they have shelter against rain and the elements. That is amazing. Is this your house? Yeah. Hi, my name is Mr. Stoner. Nice to meet you. And this is your girls? Yeah. That's great. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it works out well for you. Hello, girls. Is this your new house? Yeah. <laughs> boys at school. Oh, okay. What grade is he in? Two boys. Yeah. So one wants to be a nurse, one wants to be a liar. And also my son, he wants to be in the army. The next one wants to become a police. So That's awesome. I'm so grateful. What do we got in here? Oh, nice. Okay, so we got a couple beds. You got your hands full, huh? Thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a blessing to me. 
so grateful. Thank you for Mommy, my, me, for me and my kids. Thank you. Many of the people have never um, dreamed of, home, of owning a home. So when someone comes and just blesses them with something that is beyond their wildest dreams, it lifts them. Mr. Jack Stoner, and I'm so grateful of it. I'm so thankful, and may God bless him. And he can do even better for others. And we all love him. I love him so much. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy. You know, and it's so good to see him back in Michelle game. It was Chuck's passion, passion for the children. That's what touched my heart. Uh, there's so many people here, so many children. They all seem so happy. I'll tell you what it feels like to have hope. Anybody that ever wants to go on a mission trip, they should bring their family someplace like this. It's the most heartwarming experience you could have. So, you know, when you see something like this, you just want to start helping other people. Well, I pray the Holy Spirit's on your home and that yeah. you're all blessed by this home and that these young men grew up to be big and strong and healthy and boys that moms can be proud of.